Hello again everyone, Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song The Nurse Who Loved Me by Failure. As always, this song comes to you as a request from one of my viewers, so if you would like to request something, just leave it in the comments, and I'll be sure to add it to my list. And hey, while you're down there leaving a comment, you might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you can also check the description to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or TikTok. Or all three, you know, whatever. Whatever you feel like. Um, so anyway... Uh, at this point, I've literally heard two songs by Failure. I've heard Undone, and I've heard Another Space Song. And I gotta say, after Another Space Song, I just I, I enjoyed that song so much that I knew I wanted to get back to Failure sooner rather than later. So someone left this comment recently and uh, figured I'd jump on it, use the excuse to listen to more Failure. So I say we jump right into it. This is, again, The Nurse Who Loved Me by Failure. Now, last time I just listened to the um, the studio version of it, the album version, I guess, um, whereas this time I did grab the KEXP live on KEXP performance. I just thought, you know, KEXP always has just really good uh, production values. The audio quality is really good on these productions, and you get to kind of hear, still hear a live version of the song. So I figured I'd start with this one, and, and uh, hopefully we'll enjoy it. Let's jump in. Say hello to the road's topography. It holds quite a lot of interest with your face down on it. And say hello to the shrinking in your head that you can't see. She's got everything I need Pharmacy keys And she's falling hard for me I can see it in her eyes And she acts just like a nurse With all the other guys
Yeah. Yeah, I like that a whole lot. Um, and I'm really glad I got to see... Discover great live. music at kexp.org. Glad I got to see this, uh, this live performance here, because I think... They, it, <laughs> I mean, it's great to see that they sound so great while playing live as well. So, yeah, I really like that a whole lot. You know, just thinking about the lyrics right now off the top of my head, um, I'm thinking it has something to do with drug use. And um, with another Space song, we kind of read the lyrics there and we read the the about section for that song. And it talked about how that song was also about uh, sort of heroin use, I believe, and uh, the complications that come along with that. And so I feel like this one is as well. And a lot of you have told me in the comments that the theme of this album kind of follows that uh, that theme as well. So yeah, I, I think so. But overall, I really enjoyed this song. I got to say, there's this like feeling of, it, it almost like sounds hopeful for small little sections of it, but then they quickly like dash that hopefulness away with some darker uh, melodies throughout the song. So I really liked this one a whole lot. Let's jump into it, of course, starting with the lyrics. So, uh, say hello to the rug's topography. It holds quite a lot of interest with your face down on it. So, yeah, someone like laying face down on a rug, again, maybe from like an overdose or something, or just from the, the sort of lethargy, the lethargy, lethargy that comes with, you know, doing drugs or what have you. Say hello to the shrinking in your head. You can't see it, but you know it's there, so don't neglect it. I'm guessing, again, the effect of drugs on your brain. Um, I guess we can click here and just see what the per whoever typed this up. Uh, yeah interesting uh that's not how i read that but okay interesting all right this person has a totally different interpretation from me i'm thinking her i'm taking her home with me all dressed in white she's got everything i need pharmacy keys she's falling hard for me i can see it in her eyes she acts just like a nurse with all the other guys and so what i'm reading this as is that she's like a drug dealer right uh or at least at the very least an enabler but essentially yeah i'm taking her home with me she's got everything i need right she's got the whole pharmacy she's got all the drugs that i need um but perhaps in that sort of drug-filled stupor, uh, they think, hey, this, this lady likes me. She, she, she's in love with me or whatever, right? She's falling for me. But in reality, uh, she's, just, she's just a drug dealer, right? <laughs> so uh, because at the end, it's like she acts just like a nurse with all the other guys. This is just what she does. She gets dudes hooked on drugs, I guess, through her, you know, care and, and by, by showing them attention or what have you, right? So she just, she's just a good salesperson, I guess. That, that's how I'm reading it, at least. I mean, I'm sure you guys might have your own interpretation, but that's really how I'm looking at it so far. Say hello to all the apples on the ground. They were once in your eyes, but you sneezed them out while sleeping. That's an interesting line. Uh, say hello to everything you've left behind. It's even more a part of your life now that you can't touch it. So again, I'm, I'm guessing that part of that addiction uh, pushes away everything else. So the things that you used to love, uh, you've left it all behind, and now you, you know, maybe you think about it more often. It's again, it's sort of a part of your life now that you that you have to just constantly remember it versus actually live it. I'm taking her home with me all dressed in white. She's got everything I need, some pills in a little cup. And again, there it is right there. She's got the drugs. She's falling hard for me. I can see it in her eyes. She acts just like a nurse with all the other guys. Uh, let's see. She's got everything I need, pharmacy keys. She acts just like a nurse with all the other guys. Say hello to the rugs topography. So, yeah, again, that's how I'm, that's how I'm reading it. Oh, it looks like there was an about section here, but... It is unreviewed. I want to take a quick look. The title of the song is a reference to the James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me. I guess that kind of makes sense, right? The Nurse Who Loved Me. Uh, failure feature scenes from this movie and the video montage they presented to, at the opening of the reunion show in 2014. The music video for Stuck on You pays uh, homage to the style of the film's title sequence, a sample from the film's soundtrack. During the temple scene in Luxor can also be heard at the beginning of the song Pure Distraction by Ken Andrews' solo project on. Okay, cool. A little bit more background there. So, all right. 
neat. Oh, this is a song right before another space song as well. I can see how this would lead really well uh, into that song. So anyway, yeah, like I said, I think it's about it's about drug use. It's about maybe their their female drug dealer who is like the nurse, right? They, prov- they she gives him gives them everything they need, uh, but she does it with all the other guys, right? So it's not really that she's falling for you. It's not that she loves you. It's that you're her customer, and she's you know essentially making sure that she gets money out of you. So I don't know. That's kind of how I'm reading it. But let me know what you guys think. What your interpretation is. Regarding Regardless, I really like the way that it's written. Uh, some interesting lines in there that, that are like, wow, that's very just poetic in nature. Um, but yeah, I really dug this one lyrically. I give it two thumbs up. As far as the instrumentation goes, you know, we did watch a live performance of it. We listened to a live performance of it just now. And so I'm interested to see what the actual album version sounds like. But I got to say so for, for right now that um, I think the drum work was really good. Overall, a lot of really nice drum fills and as the song picked up in intensity the drums i think really matched that and provided a great rhythm uh guitar work i thought was great again very sort of ethereal and out there spacey i i I can see why they called this one like fantastic planet i feel like a lot of the instrumentation is very like almost like sci-fi again that sort of ethereal feeling sound to it um but I dig that a lot. Loved the keyboard at the piano throughout. Uh, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Again, it it was responsible for some of that sort of hopeful sounding uh, pieces throughout the song. But again, they it just quickly dashed that away and reminded you that this is a very sort of down and dour uh sounding song so uh really really enjoyed uh all those instrumental pieces and then the vocals i think were were excellent as well really still kind of captured this sort of 90s feel to it uh i mean 96 is when it came out but still doing that today i think it really um that sort of edge in the vocals i think really helped out so really enjoyed the song instrumentally and vocally i give it two big thumbs up overall really enjoyed this one and so i think it's going to go on the playlist of course, still got to hear the album version of it, but I think I'll like it just as much as this live performance. And so I think it's going to go on the playlist right there next to uh, another space song, and I can't wait to listen to it again. So I'm giving it two big thumbs up for uh, replay value as well. Overall, I think, you know, I think I'm starting to really enjoy Failure. You know, I think with Undone, I wasn't really sure what to think of them. Uh, Undone didn't really move me the way I wanted it to, but when I look back at it, it was like two years ago that I reviewed that song. And so, you know, my taste have maybe changed a little bit since then but um regardless i think that uh yeah i'm starting to become a bit of a failure fan as long as there's more music that kind of hits this same note kind of scratches this same itch i think uh I think we're going to hear more from them here in the future. So thank you so much for whoever requested this one. As always, if you want to request something, just leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to add it to my list. And of course, if you want to continue supporting the channel further, you can like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check the description to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or TikTok. Of course, if you enjoy the music, go listen to the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. Um, And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.